അസ്സാം അലൈക്കും ഹായ് ഫ്രണ്ട്സ് വെൽക്കം ബാക്ക് സൈനോസ് ഫുട്ടൂബിലേക്ക് എല്ലാവർക്കും സ്വാഗതം എന്തൊക്കെ വിശേഷം എല്ലാവർക്കും സുഖമല്ലേ ഇന്ന് ഞാനല്ല കുക്ക് ചെയ്യുന്നത് എൻ്റെ മോനും ഫില്ലും കൂടി ചേർന്നാണ് ഇന്നത്തെ റെസിപ്പി അപ്പം നമുക്ക് നോക്കാം അവരെന്താ ഉണ്ടാക്കുന്നതെന്ന് We have hijacked my mother's channel today. My name is Naseeb. This is Phil. I'm going to show you a hand, Phil. Recognize the hands. Okay. Um, we're going to be making meatballs and pasta today. Phil, you want to tell them what we're making? Actually, we're going to have uh, mozzarella stuffed meatballs. Okay, mozzarella stuffed meatballs and what do we have? Tortellini. Tortellini pasta. Okay. But we're only going to do the meatballs. Meatballs right now. Okay. That's all we're going to do. Right. The tortellini is already cooked. We've bought pre-cooked. So you don't have to say that. The pre-cooked. Pre-cut. Pre-cut. No, stop, stop, stop. Okay. Say it. Okay. So this, these are the ingredients to make the meatballs. Okay, we so you need a pound of ground beef. A pound of ground, lean ground beef if you're health conscious or else don't get lean. Um, we have half a uh, quarter teaspoon of pepper. We have... Uh, we've added some about half a teaspoon or a teaspoon of Italian seasoning and we have half a teaspoon of salt put that in put that all in there you go I crack up an egg and add to it good one lord. large egg good lord I didn't think I'll do it that's great I'll take that and then okay. the breadcrumbs Um, what is it? Half cup, half, half a cup of breadcrumbs. Italian seasoning breadcrumbs works best. And the sieve is now going to massage all of this together and knead it with his hands. There you go. Please give it a good rub. There you go. Get it all in. Really put your back into it. Make sure you mix everything. Masala stuffed meatballs. Pasta you want to put in the oven. I'm going to put in the meatballs. അതിനു വേണ്ടി കൊഴുപ്പില്ലാത്ത അര കിലോ ബീഫ് കീമയാണ് അവരെടുത്തിരിക്കുന്നത് ഇനി അതിലേക്ക് കാൽ ടീസ്പൂൺ കുരുമുളക് പൊടി ചേർക്കണം പിന്നെ അര ടീസ്പൂൺ ഇറ്റാലിയൻ സീസണിങ് പാകത്തിന് ഉപ്പ് പിന്നെ ഒരു വലിയ മുട്ട അതിനുശേഷം ഇതിലേക്ക് ഒരു കപ്പ് ബ്രെഡ് ക്രംസ് ഇറ്റാലിയൻ സീസണിങ് ചേർത്തിട്ടുള്ള ബ്രെഡ് ക്രംസ് ആണെങ്കിൽ കൂടുതൽ നല്ലതാണെന്ന് പറയുന്നു ഇത്രയും ചേർത്ത് കൈ വെച്ച് നന്നായി ഒന്ന് മിക്സ് ചെയ്ത് കുഴച്ചെടുക്കുക Please don't need it. No, she just cut it out because she can probably use this to put voice over. Yeah. You have yeah, to get in the camera, don't you? Okay, so you get everything out the bottom, everything mixed together. Are you ready? Do you think that's enough? Yep. Um, you've preheated your oven to 450 degrees. ഇപ്പോൾ കീമ ചേരുവകളൊക്കെ ചേർത്ത് നന്നായി മിക്സ് ചെയ്ത് എടുത്തിട്ടുണ്ട് സോ യു വോണ്ട് ലൈറ്റ്ലി സ്പ്രേ യുവർ ട്രേ വിത്ത് ഓലിവ് ഓയിൽ സോ യു മീ ഫോൾസ് ഡോൺ സ്റ്റേ എനി സ്പ്രേ വിൽ ഡു ഓലിവ് ഓയിൽ ഇസ് ബെസ്റ്റ് ആൻഡ് ദെൻ വി ഗോ ടു സ്റ്റാർട്ട് റോളിംഗ് അവർ മീറ്റ് ബോൾസ് മീഡിയം സൈസ് മീറ്റ് ബോൾസ് മേക്ക് ഷുർ ദേ നോട്ട് ടു ബിഗ് ബട്ട് ടു സ്മോൾ ഫോർ ദാറ്റ് മാറ്റർ ആൻഡ് ദെൻ വി ആർ ഗോയിങ് ടു push the 
mozzarella into the middle of the meatball. Make sure that the mozzarella is covered with the meat. You want to roll it nicely. And voila, good size this meatball. Pretty Make sure decent size, you not too big, not too small. Anywhere. Mozzarella's are covered, and then we're just going to place it on the baking tray. There you go. And keep doing that process, repeat it till you've made, you finish all your um, ground beef. By the way, this is ground beef. So you could, if you wanted to have lighter food, you could mix your ground beef with ground chicken or ground turkey. Mm -hmm. And make probably make a healthier version of this. Turkey is usually leaner, so that would be a good option to opt for. So then just gonna make sure the mozzarella is all covered. Oh, wow, look at that. It's beautiful. Now, we have to be honest, we've never made mozzarella stuffed meatballs. We've made this meatballs before, made meatballs. not mozzarella. We're just trying to get fancy for my mom's yeah, channel. We're going to see how this goes so. because uh, we're hoping that we follow the directions correctly. Right. That does not look good. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. Oh, right. my mom said we have to speak louder. Yeah, by the way, make sure you guys comment and let us know <laughs> how you like us taking over the channel and who's more entertaining, my mom or me. Or me. I would say it's me. Yeah, or Phil. Right. Or Phil, for, yeah. I would say it's me. We may have to change the name of the channel. Yeah, we're going. We're probably going to inherit the channel, <laughs> change it to Nasib and Phil, but if you guys like it, make sure you let us know. Here's our excess meatball situation going on. <laughs> that one's our biggest one yet. So. What about this? Oh, well, that's a pretty big one too. If we can get one or two more out. If you don't make them too big, you should actually be able to get a dozen meatballs out of this. But we seem to have gotten really excited about the right. meatball size here today. But if you do it, properly and consistently keep the size consistent a pound of beef can give you around 12 meatballs oh by the way a pound of meat is about uh two half a kilo what is it how much is that like one pound one pound of yeah it's around half a kilo it's around half a kilo so this will get cut because my dad's voice is in here so there you go, see, look at that. It's just gonna My balls just keep getting larger. My balls are getting better. I don't think it's enough meat to cover my, meat, uh, my cheese here. Let's get a little bit more. Just gonna pat it up. Boom, boom, boom. There you go. Great. Should probably definitely cut that out. That's like boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> I don't know. This is, oh. This fame is getting to my head. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, go big or go home, right? Why aren't you He's doing a second roll? Can we get two more out of this? Um, yeah, I mean, if you want. Get one more. Okay. One more? I'm gonna just get it out. So, yep, this is our last meatball while we are rolling. So, it's a little bit big because we were not really consistent with our sizes, but. For those of you who are now geometrically challenged, you can back. probably we'll stop it. We can cut it back. No. If you keep it consistent, you can get a good amount of meatball out of a pound of ground beef. But the first one is the ideal size. Yeah, that's yeah. the ideal size. My dad, who doesn't know anything about meatballs, is commenting <laughs> on meatballs right now. <laughs> Would you like to cut them down a little bit? No, I think we're good. I think they're having... 
Yeah, yeah. being entertained watching us roll <laughs> meatball. <laughs> Big meatballs. We go around. Oh my god, this is like a baseball. Do you want to show you other ones? One. Okay. I'll, I'll, yeah, take some of the other ones. So take, take the bigger one. Make sure they're rounded really tight. Oh, beauty! Can you can you lend me some meat from your other meatball? Thank you. Oh, this is pretty petite. It's pretty nice. By the way, these are mozzarella cheese balls, mini mozzarella cheese balls. Um, okay. Phil just decided on his own to change things. We're just changing yes. size. Well, soon enough, the channel is going to be Phil's channel, so. <laughs> nope, you expose the cheese. Do not expose the white ball. <laughs> <laughs> okay, rolling on the ball. Get with it. I don't know if I'm made. I'm used to more meat. There you go. Probably <laughs> should cut that out. Probably <laughs> should cut that out. That's it. Okay, we get something here. I need a little bit more meat. I need a little bit more meat. Come on, there you go. Pop it on top. <laughs> We should probably stand closer because the sound gets big. There you go. Okay. <clears throat> now, once you roll wow. all your meatballs, then they go into the oven at 450 again. How long are they going to for any cheese? <laughs> once we put these meatballs in, how long will they bake for? Uh, we'll <laughs> bake it for 13 to 15 minutes and make sure they're no longer pink and cooked. Uh, before we pull it out of the oven. Okay. All right. So here we go. These are gonna go in the oven now. So exciting. Okay, hold on. Oh, oh, oh. Gonna, Don't let them roll around. We're gonna take exciting. you with us. There you go. Put it. Look at this beauty. There you go. Oh god. Bad boys are gonna bake in the oven for 15 minutes, and we'll be back after 15 minutes. In your baking tray, add that. Add like olive oil, spray it on there. Adrisham, mix the game in the Kuresh Edith, Uru Valley and Aranga Valipatil, Utir Tinisham, Poro Cheese Polo Edith, Adinoli Fili, the Windum, Nana Uritirka. We retired the Volula Lam, Trail Lake Witch, Nanutemba Degree Fahrenheit, preheated the Oven Lake Witch. Alright, so while we are waiting for the uh, meatballs to cook, we are going to do the pasta. What do we have here, Phil? Uh, we've got uh, water that we want to make sure the pasta, we're going to drop a little bit of olive oil in so the pasta does not stick together. Put that right in there. Um, and if you pat the salt, we're going to do a little bit of salt. That helps the boil. The water will boil a little faster if we got some salt in there. So it's a little bit. It's a pinch. And now mm -hmm. we're just waiting for our water, water to boil. boil. Uh, want to just show them the tortellini? Yeah, so... These are the tortellinis that we bought today. Shout out to Hannaford's tortellini. We like the tricolor because it makes the plate more colorful and it's got a little vegetable mixed in with right. pepper. And, and then here we have emeralds, Alfredo sauce with roasted garlic. Cheese. Usually, traditionally, I would say meatballs are made with uh, marinara sauce. Red sauce, correct. Right. That's how I'll be eating them. Exactly. But, um, we, I, well, I personally like Alfredo sauce, so 
That is why we make, we're making it with Alfredo sauce today. And then we just wait. So, and this is water. We're waiting for it to boil. And then in this we have the Alfredo sauce that will heat up as we are making the pasta and then we'll add, add it into the Alfredo sauce. Meat bowl, bake yam, which is another way home, but a key, the lake, and a fast and duck up. As you end, a repart of the lake, Korsuvella, which is in day. As the lake, Korsupum, Korsolivo, and Cherthodica, and the Sasham of Telapica. Salatin is Asham, no pasta, to come. The lake, you are totally new pasta and awake in the day. Pala color le, ane do erin do the. Alla colorful light la pasta na. Ninga ke, ninga lad to la pasta bhi ekya. Idina ato cheese filli the tan erin do the. Adha na dinda pati rada. Purdal swada na. Swada na dilay ke mere red sauce ano bhi ekya re. Nangal white sauce madhi yendu arangu ande. Ipo white sauce le jaiya na. Ready made white sauce wangi ekya na re. That's the upper third bathroom. That's the two dark white sauce. i the video. So we just added some half and half to it. And make get the remainder of the Alfredo sauce out of it. Exactly. And then we give it a sh good shake and we pour the rest of the Alfredo sauce into the pot. And just Okay, my mom is asking me to tell you guys about this. So this is roasted garlic, which is what I personally like. But like I said, you can get marinara sauce, which is how meatballs are usually eaten with. Uh, traditionally, that's the way to do it. I personally like the white sauce. Um, it's a 16 ounce bottle. You can, uh, if you're gonna use a pound of beef and you know a good amount of family pack of pasta, I would suggest you use the whole bottle. Of flavor so guys this is how the meatball looks I'm literally squatting so I'm just gonna need that <laughs> this is how the meatball looks if you look at it it's being cooked and some of them if you pay attention you can see the cheese is oozing out which is part of the taste so um, we're just gonna wait a couple more minutes and then take them out and then I'll show you how they look fresh out of the oven Okay, no, you do it. Uh, so the water has started boiling and we're going to put in the tortellinis. Careful when you do it, it's boiling water. Make sure it doesn't splash on you. So carefully put them in. Um, and give it a good mix so it doesn't stick together. And then you let them boil and cook. Uh, while it's cooking, I'm going to show you guys what a tortellini is. This is what a tortellini looks like. There's a green tortellini. These ones were good timing. All right, so while the pasta is cooking, um, I'm going to show you what a tortellini looks like. This is what a tortellini looks like. This is a green one. It's made of different things. It's, it's different color because I think this one is made of pepper. And this is what the inside looks like. It just has, it has cheese in it. It's made of spinach, sorry, not pepper. It's made of spinach. That's what the inside of a tortellini looks like. You can focus it, there you go. All right, okay, so now we're going to Pull the meatball out of the oven and see what that looks like. There you go. That's what a mozzarella filled meatball fresh out of the oven looks like. Yep. They've oozed a little bit, which is good, which is part of the taste, like I said. It's good. I'm going to set you guys back here so you can see the pasta being cooked. Can I should drop this in? We are going to put some uh, fresh ground pepper in the alfredo so it has some pepper in it. Probably about a quarter of a teaspoon. Then then. And we just stir that. Should we cut, cut them open? Let's cut them open for them. No, 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 no. I'm up there so I don't have the camera. 
Hold on a sec. Did you get that? Oh. So. Done. One of them. Okay. I'm going to show you what the um, meatball looks like when you cut it in half. It looks creamy if you look in the inside. You see the meat has all melted and it has ran down into the meatballs. It looks good. How's it taste, Phil? Mm. Good. Oh. Pasta is getting ready here. Meanwhile, no, I did. So good. Here's <laughs> a. Uh, oh my God! It's been recorded. <laughs> yeah, that's not. <laughs> I can't play. By the way, we'll say that the joke I use is a good joke. Will you say it at the end? As a. The hand joke. My joke. I'll say it. Or you just mix that up for a pasta and we'll be Yeah, it's done, right? It really likes to be involved. Yeah, technician really likes to be involved. Technician <laughs> needs to stay in technician's <laughs> place. Technician really likes to be involved. Technician, yeah, technician really likes to get involved. <laughs> Behind the camera. <laughs> Good, super, that's what she said. You didn't hear? It's all being recorded. By the way, we have to sign off on what they can put in the video. So I don't want my star value to be affected. Yeah? Yeah, we're gonna. I'm gonna drain the toilet and do the show. Yeah. Okay, so the tortellini is all cooked now, and what we're gonna do is we are going to drain the tortellini. Ma, excuse me. Oh, shoot. Can we shoot? We're gonna drain the tortellini. It's being drained, filled with drained and tortellini. If you look at that. There you go. So this is freshly cooked tortellini as well. Cooked back to the stove. Horrible. Alright, there you go. Yes. So we're just going to put... Phil, why don't you explain? I'm going to put some of the tortellini... I'm going to have red sauce with this. So we're going to put some of the tortellini in with the Alfredo. And mix that up. Now, if you want, you can put the meatballs in and mix it up together, or you can serve them separately and mix it up. For now, do you want to serve it? Uh, no, we're all set. No, I think we should serve it into a bowl and show them. Okay. Then we have to get that up. Okay. No, no, yeah, I like it. Just hold this. Make sure you get that. Get a bowl. Don't add the cheese yet, Phil. <laughs> Alright, there you go. There it is. Add the cheese, but I'm gonna sprinkle some Parmesan cheese on top. Right, you want to do that? Add to this. Alright, okay. Show them the bottle. Then I'm going to actually add 
two meatballs to finish off the dish. That's what it looks like at the end. You can create, you can put some sauce on top of the meatballs if you want. And there we have it. And there you have it. That's what the final product looks like. All right, let's do a sign. Okay, now if, if you want to do marinara sauce, the, you can see Phil doing that here. It's marinara sauce. Show them the bottle again, Rinaldi's. Tomato and basil. You can just add that on, put that on, heat for a little while, and give it a good, give it a good what? Swell. <laughs> That's it, and it's the same way. You serve that and then put the meatballs on top. Okay, now let's uh, sign off. What's the sign yeah. off you said? So that's it, guys. We have cooked the meatballs and pasta. Make sure you guys take note of the hands. If you see these hands in public, come say hi. Don't be shy. Bye. Salam alaikum. Well, and the last one, pasta is like it. We have to do the drying day there, dear no. अपोरेक्यू Serve you more pasta kumagalai. Great to the permission this would be Chertor Dirno. Super Swadato. Friends, if you do like this video, like and share it. Inshallah, will see you in the next video. Thank you.